here one grammar is given to us and we have to prove the grammar is LR1 but not LR1 whenever LR1 is written this is same as CLR1 LR1 means CLR1 canonical LR1 ok now we shall use augmented production here as dash will give dot s look ahead dollar now this dot is coming before this non-terminal s so I have to write the production of s s will give me dot a a or dot b a c or dot b c or dot b b a what is remaining after this s that is dollar so its look ahead will be dollar now this dot is coming before a that is non-terminal so I have to write production of this a this will be dot d and what is remaining after this a this is small a so it will be its a look ahead now dot is coming before this B, so I have to write it's a closer, it will give dot D and what is remaining after this B? This is C, so I will write C here. Okay, now if I read capital S, S dash will give me S dot, look ahead will be dollar there will be no change in the look ahead okay if I read capital A S will give me A dot A look ahead will be dollar there will be no change in the look ahead okay If I read capital B here, S will give me B dot C, look ahead will be dollar. Okay. Now, if I read B, small b, S will give me B dot AC. Look ahead is dollar here. And this dot is coming before non terminal A, so I have to write the closer of A, which is dot D. And what is remaining after this A? Because I have to write this closer because of this dot before this A. And after this A, what is remaining? It is C. So this is its a look ahead. And if I read B here, S will give me B dot B A look ahead is dollar and this dot is coming before this P so I have to write the closer of B which will be dot D and what is remaining after this B that is A so I am writing A here ok now if I read small d A will give me D dot and B will give me D dot. What is remaining here? What is the look ahead here? That is A. What is look ahead here? That is C. Okay. Now, if I read small a here, S will give me A A dot. Look ahead is dollar. If I read small c, S will give me b c dot look at this dollar if i read capital b here s will give me b a dot c look ahead will remain dollar there will be no change in look ahead now if i read capital b s will give me B B dot A look ahead is 
dollar. Okay, if I leave B here, A will give me B dot, look ahead is C, B will give me D dot, look ahead is small a. Okay, now if I leave small c here, S will give me B A C dot, look ahead is dollar. If I need small a, s will give me b, b, a dot, look ahead is dollar. Now, I have to construct is, it's a uh, CLR1 parsing table. are A, C and B. Okay. At state 0. If I read S, I am reaching 1. If I read capital A, I am reaching 2. B, state 3. If I read small b, I am reaching state 4, so I will write here shift 4. If I read small d, I am reaching 5. So I am writing here shift 5. In state 1, s can be reduced to a stash at dollar, so at dollar I will write here in state 1, except In state 2, if I need small a, I am reaching 6. So I will write here shift 6. Okay. In state 3, if I need small c, I am reaching state 7. So I will write here shift 7. At state 3. Yes. Shift 7. In state 4. In state 4, if I read capital A, I am reaching 8. 4, capital A, I am reaching state 8. And capital B, I am reaching state 9. Okay. And small d, I am reaching 10. So I will write here shift 10. Okay. In state 5, B can be reduced by A and D can be reduced by B. I am writing here production numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this is 6. Okay, in state 5, D can be reduced by A, D can be reduced by A, that is reduction 5 at A. At 5, D can be reduced by A, at look ahead A, A, reduction 5, so I am writing here, reduce 5, ok, now in state 5, D can be reduced by B, at look ahead C, so reduction 6, reduce 6, at 5, at B, sorry C, yes, reduce 6, ok, state 6, A, A can be reduced to S, A, A can be reduced to S, reduction 1 at dollar, reduce 1 at dollar, 6, at 7, BC can be reduced to S. Reduction 3 at dollar. At 7.
okay in stage 8 at small c shift 11 8 small c shift 11 okay now at 9 at small a it is reaching 12 shift 9 sorry at 9 it is at a shifting 12 shift 12 okay at 10 D can be reduced by A, reduction 5, at C, at 10, okay, reduce 5, at C, reduce 5, at log head C, and D can be reduced by B, that is reduction 6, at A, reduction 6, at A. Okay, at 11, BAC, BAC, reduction 2, at dollar, reduction 2, at dollar, 11. Reduce to BAC, yes, reduce to at dollar, and BBA can be reduced by US. That is 4 and dollar 12. Reduce 4. BBA at dollar. So there is no any conflict in this parsing table. So this is CLR1 grammar, but here you can see here. DD this. There is change in look ahead only. And uh, state number 5 and state number 10. And there is any other state in which look ahead is changing only? No. So we shall merge these 5 and 10. Remaining will remain as it is. So I am writing here state 5, 10. 5, 10. Uh, A, B, C, D, dollar, and uh, 5 and 10. No state is required here. So, in 5, what was happening here? Reduction 5 at A. So, I am writing here. Reduce 5. Reduce 5 at A and at C reduce 6. Okay. At 10, reduce 6 at A slash reduce 6 and at C reduce 5 slash reduce 5. So there is this is L A L R one partial parsing table because there is reduce reduce conflict in L A L R one. table so this grammar will be LR1 or CLR1 but it will not be LAR1 grammar.